Welcome to Win the Day from Back to the Bible. I'm your coach, Pastor Nat, and today we will talk about living as children of light. When my kids were young, it was not uncommon for them to come in from outside covered in dirt and mud. I mean, we have all boys, so it's expected. But what drove us crazy as parents were when we cleaned them up and change their clothes. And what would they do? They would go out and do it again, get covered in dirt and mud. Well, we as Christians can do the same thing. We get cleaned up by God only to go right back out to the mud hole. But should we keep doing this? Paul has the answer for us in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, beginning in verse 4. But you are not in darkness, brothers, for that day to surprise you like a thief. For you are all children of light, children of the day. We are not of the night or of the darkness. So then let us not sleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. In the first three verses, Paul says that Jesus is coming at an unspecified time. He will come like a thief in the night. Now, some will say, don't worry about this coming. Don't worry. But those who are, are not God's children. They should be afraid if they are not God's children because it means God's judgment. And that's when Paul says in verses 4 through 5, But you are not in darkness, brothers, for that day to surprise you like a thief. For you are all children of light, children of the day. We are not of the night or of the darkness. There is this incredible picture that is painted again and again in the New Testament of the transformation that we have in Christ. We go from death to life. We go from being enemies of God to the children of God. We were slaves of sin, but we are now friends and slaves of Christ. You see, we go from living in the darkness to living in the light. What's amazing is this transformation and deliverance is a gift from God. So though we don't know when Jesus is coming back, we know he is coming back and there is nothing to fear. But so what? Well, Paul says in verse six, so then let us not sleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. When Jesus returns, he will raise the dead, deliver justice, and deal with Satan, evil, and sin. For those who reject Jesus' offer of salvation will experience separation from God forever in hell. It's a terrifying prospect. But for the believer, there is no fear in Jesus' coming. It's paradise, reward, and reunion forever. Therefore, let us live as children of light. Let us live out the reality of our salvation. Let us show the world we are no longer of the darkness or slaves of sin. We are saved by God for God. So let's live like it today. If Christians lived like Christians, the world would take notice. Yes, it's true. The world may hate us and reject us, but those whom God is working on will notice and want to know more. Today, let's live as children of the day. When we do, we will win the day.